What's up guys, my name is Kwa Boy and in this video I would like to share with you about how to quit coffee and the hidden benefits of quitting caffeine. I've been drinking coffee for my entire life. For as long as I remember, I've been drinking coffee. I'm sure that you, you love your coffee as well. Every morning we wake up, we go to the kitchen, we make ourselves a cup of coffee. This isn't coffee by the way. Um, this is actually just um, vanilla milk. <laughs> so, For as long as I remember, I've always been drinking coffee. I drink it when I'm on my way to work, I drink it at work, I have several cup of, cups of coffee to get through my day and if I don't have my coffee I get cranky, I get angry and I need it to stay alert, I need it to stay awake and when I get home I crash and then that's pretty much it. And that's always been the routine for me, I've always been doing that just like everyone else right, you go down to Starbucks have yourself a cup of coffee, uh, a frappuccino and then it's just beautiful when you have it, you know there's no, there's no, no problems with it right. However, last week um, I went to this training and uh, it was just a workshop that I was invited to. I remember I was sitting there and um, they, they were giving away free, you know, free food, free coffee and everything and they, I was just there so I was a bit tired so I had about, I remember I had about 10 cups of coffee that day, 10 cups of coffee. It was the, it was the brew one where you just put the, um, yeah, you just have a cup, just pour it in. And I remember that um, on the way home from that workshop that day when I drank about 10 cups of coffee, my stomach really started to hurt. And it just, I don't know, I felt this really strong pain in my stomach and I had to really get home and just lie on the bed and just, just recover. I just felt this really tremendous pain. And I, I told my girlfriend about it and she said, you know, what, you, you might have to see a doctor about this because it's, you know, it, it's a pretty serious thing if your stomach starts to really hurt for a long period of time. It's been going on for a few days. Anyway, um, I didn't go to, to the doctors, I actually went to Google first and just did a, a search for my, uh, my symptoms and it turns out that looks like that coffee is in, uh, it's very acidic. So the things that I learned is that coffee tends to really, it, it gives you that boost of energy, it gives you, it makes you alert, it wakes you up and um, makes you really fast, right? But then after about an hour or two hours you crash again, so therefore you go, need to go out there and have another cup of coffee. I'm actually going to quit coffee cold turkey. So I'm 38 now and I've been drinking coffee for as long as I remember and I've always tried to quit coffee in the past but this time I really wanted to do it. I couldn't believe the amount of pain I was going through in, in my stomach, right? So you know what? I'm going to quit cold turkey and if I get tired, I get tired. And the next day, I remember waking up in the morning, I didn't have a cup of coffee, I was tired as anything, I wanted just to lie in bed and cancel all my plans for the day, but you know what, I just kept pushing, I was dragging myself to the train station, and I just was not happy, I was not in a good mood, I got to, I got to the um, workshop, I was sitting there, and the speaker was talking, I was just sitting there, I could not concentrate, my friend who was sitting next to me, he said, well, what's wrong with you? And I said, oh, don't worry, I'm not having any coffee today. And he said, wow. <laughs> that morning was horrendous. I could not concentrate. I could not focus. It was horrible. Uh, anyway, I remember looking at the time and then it was about 11.30 and I think I was thinking to myself, at 30 more minutes, I'll make it to half the day with no coffee. And my, my brain started to hurt. I started to get these really bad headaches. Anyway, uh, about 2 o'clock, I started getting really, really bad migraines. I was really tired. I was about to fall asleep. I had to get up and walk around. And um, and yeah, and then at the at the night um, in the afternoon on the way home, I actually slept on the train station uh, on the train, and I missed my stop and I woke up somewhere in a random suburb. So, so that's what happened. And then um, when I got home, I passed out straight away. Uh, pretty much, yeah, that was it. Uh, I woke up the next morning, so I was absolutely exhausted. Because the next few days, it did not get any better. I was. I just could not concentrate, I could not have a whole conversation, I could not speak and all I thought about was coffee, all I cared about was coffee. Um, I've been drinking coffee my whole life and to me not to have coffee was just, yeah it was a really strange experience, it really is a drug. Uh, I remember thinking to myself, I need coffee, I need coffee, I need coffee. Anyway, it just didn't get any better, on day about, on day 4, day 5, it just, I, get, I had the worst, it was the worst headaches. I had to take Nurofen, which was uh, painkillers, just to get rid of my, my headaches and, and, and all the pains in my body. And the, the sad thing was that when I gave up coffee for um, during that week, on the, about the fifth day or the sixth day, I started getting really depressed, like really depressed. I had no energy and I, I don't know, I just really, 
uh, I remember thinking, I never get depressed, right? Well, it's been a long time since I've been depressed, but uh, when I gave up co coffee, I just I just had massive depression. I just really wanted to just end it all. And it was just, I just needed coffee. All I wanted was just to go back to my usual self and, um, and just, yeah, yeah, just be alert and be energetic. But luckily, I, I was watching YouTube videos of people who quit coffee um, and then they, they were able to persist as well. After about the seventh day, um, things started really started to turn around. Uh, I noticed that I, w I was waking up uh, on time. I wasn't. I didn't need to have a coffee in the morning, and I was able to maintain this energy throughout the day. So before um, before I was crashing at about one o'clock, and then I was about three o'clock, and then I started waning out. And now it's been a week with no coffee whatsoever, and yeah, it's absolutely amazing. So some of the th some of the massive benefits of quitting coffee is that. Probably the number one thing I'd like to share with you is that sleep, you get so much sleep. It's, it's really amazing. I've really discovered a new part of myself. Um, when I was drinking about five or, or 10 cups of coffee a day, I just, I was sleeping, but it wasn't the, the, the quality of sleep that you would normally get. It was just, I'll close my eyes and I'll wake up and there'll be no dreams. I might wake up in the middle of the night just to go to the bathroom and that's pretty much it. But now the sleep that I'm having, um, without caffeine I just I go to sleep like almost instantaneously instantly and when I wake up I wake up so refreshed it's it's really it's I actually sleep like a baby so that's the biggest benefit of having quality sleep is that you just feel so refreshed when you wake up in the morning it's absolutely worth it when you quit coffee um, another thing is that I notice that my dreams are becoming really vivid I'm still to be honest I had this really amazing dream where I was actually fighting this massive jellyfish <laughs> this is massive jellyfish. It was a monster, and it was just consuming all these people. And I was man—I was managed to be the only one to fight it and take it down. And I think it's because that big monster jellyfish was coffee. A lot of people were addicted to coffee, and I was able to fight it. But I still remember that dream, and that was about four or five days ago. Usually, I don't remember my dreams; it's just gone. And um, I, I'm starting to remember my dreams every day. So it's really—it's a really sur um, surreal experience. Another huge, huge um, benefit of quitting caffeine is that I did the mathematics behind this and that let's say you're having five cups of coffee a day. It takes you maybe about five minutes to make yourself a cup of coffee. So five times five is 25 minutes. Now that's 25 minutes out of your day making a cup of coffee. Now what happens when you drink coffee? You need to go to the toilet, right? So if you go to the toilet, let's say it's 15 minutes. If you, I was going to the toilet about three or four times, or maybe even five times a day after drinking so much coffee. So once again, 25 minutes plus another 25 minutes, that's 50 minutes. So that's nearly an hour per day, an hour a day of just, just coffee. So multiply that by seven, that's seven hours a week in just like just coffee, drinking coffee, preparing coffee, drinking coffee, going to the bathroom, seven hours a week. And then you multiply that by another four weeks. 7, 14, 24, 28, I think that's, yeah, it's 28 hours a month. 28 hours a month on just coffee. When you give up coffee, you claim, that th you claim those 30 hours back that comes back to you. It's really amazing. You don't need to go to Starbucks anymore. Now, let's do the mathematics behind coffee. How much does coffee cost? Coffee costs about $5, about well, $4.50, but average about $5 a cup of coffee. If you're having three cups of coffee a day, or just one per day, that's $15, multiply that by a week. You can do the math. My, I needed my calculator here, but it's a lot of money. And if you multiply that by an entire year, I did the mathematics on this, it's about over $1,000, $1,500 on just coffee. You could be spending up to $1,500 on coffee, and you could be using about 30 hours of your life preparing coffee. And what's the advantage of coffee? Yeah, fine, it gives you that burst of energy, gives you that, makes you a bit alert. But then it wrecks everything else. It wrecks your stomach. It also um, messes up with your sleep, and sleep is so important. I highly implore you to try this challenge of giving up coffee for seven days, if you can, 21 days, and notice the difference. You will notice a massive difference in the sleep. Another great thing I love about quitting coffee is that I feel so confident because coffee was a drug that I was so addicted to. I needed coffee. I could not function without coffee. But when I was able to give that up for a week, it really gave me a sense of confidence. I was able to reclaim my life and I feel so good. Like you feel absolutely incredible when you give up coffee. 
and you feel so good about yourself. It's amazing self-esteem because you were able to give up such this, you were able to give up this um, massive drug, this really powerful drug. So that being said, um, I, I would like to invite you to do a challenge to give up coffee cold turkey for the next seven days and to test your results. Managing your expectations is that you're gonna go through withdrawal symptoms, you're gonna get these massive headaches, you're gonna get grumpy, you're gonna fall asleep at work. It's gonna really mess around with your personality. I started questioning my personality. I was a completely different person when I gave up coffee. I was depressed, I was not, I could not hold a conversation and I was not my usual self. I was thinking that, wow, coffee was my personality. But then if you hold on to it, if you just stay persistent, it tends to just wane off, like uh, I'm not past the one month mark, but after about a week of giving up coffee, I'm able to think clearly now. I, uh, my, uh, my brain has restored um, the chemicals back, so because coffee removes the dopamines from, from your brain, so the dopamines have been pushed back into my brain and I'm able to get my energy naturally through my sleep, through my foods and so forth. I would like to invite you to do this challenge of quitting coffee and let me know in the comments, subscribe to my video and um, yeah, send me an email and let me know how you go. I'm really keen to hear your story on quitting coffee. So hope you like this video and um, please like, subscribe to this video and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.